Hi, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements as well as Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements. Now, a new feature that was added in version 2018 is a guided edit. And generally, I don't spend a lot of time in guided edits. Guided edits are great if you're just learning the program and you're learning just the basics of how to run the program or you want to play with a couple of the cool special effects. But this particular guided edit kind of takes you to places you often don't go in the program. And that is the guided edit here called Fix Action Cam Footage. Now it's located under Video Adjustments. Let's just go back to the expert workspace for a moment. This is a video clip of some footage I shot with my action cam bicycling around town. Let's go to Guided Edits and we'll go to Fix Action Cam Footage. And it's going to take us through the process of kind of correcting this video and getting the best moments from it. So we open up Fix Action Cam Clip, and it says first select the clip on the timeline, which we'll do, and then open the Tools panel. Here on Tools, we want to open up Smart Trim. Now, Smart Trim is a new tool in version 2018 that analyzes your movie and selects the best moments from it. So as you can see, it's taken our longer clip, which runs about, um, I think, a minute, a little over a minute, a minute and 10 seconds, and it takes snippets, what it thinks are the best moments based on action in this particular case. You could also set uh, Smart Trim, as we show you in other tutorials, to select either people, in other words, faces in your video, or a mix. So we'll click the Next button here, click on Preview to see the results. It's going to show us the clips that it selected. I'm going to just move this over so you can see. So we got a little bicycle riding, and then it transitions nicely to each of the next clips. I don't know if I would select that as one of our best clips. That's a little better. Okay, we'll pause it there. Now, once we've selected our clips, we'll click Next, Export Merged. That's right down here. So it's gonna give us all of our selected clips, combine them into one clip with a transition across Dissolve between them. And there is our best of clip. Now, another problem that often shows up in action cam footage is something called lens distortions, particularly if you're shooting with an action cam like a GoPro that has a very wide angle lens. I'm gonna just move the playhead just a little bit here so that you can see what happens with very wide angle lenses. Sometimes you get something called a fisheye look where things in the middle of the video are a little bit larger. Things around the edge get a little distorted. I'm just gonna move it so that you can see this woman. Just move it a couple steps up here. There you can see how she's kind of warped and kind of curved and things look a little bit unnatural now action cams use this of course to compress a lot of your footage into your video frame but if you don't like that distortion there is a tool in premiere elements for fixing it so the program tells us in order to fix that issue click on the effects button and in the effects panel we're going to select lens distortion and drag that onto our clip let me once again move this so it's not in the way in order to correct some of those issues all we got to do is move curvature and actually in its default setting, it's done a pretty good job. Notice the woman does not look so weird. Things in the center of the picture don't look so distorted. And straight lines like the pole and the um, high power electrical lines running along there and even the path itself don't look as warped and distorted. Now you can make adjustments to the curvature either by dragging on the slider or a lot of times in order to make real fine tuning adjustments, I'll just click on the number itself and drag. That's called scrubbing it and you make really fine tuning adjustments here and get rid of the lens distortion. Click next and it says, let's finally make some adjustments to our video. So we'll go over to the adjustments button on the toolbar, select color adjustments. And if necessary, you can make your color corrections here using hue, lightness, and saturation. And I think we're in pretty good shape here. We could, of course, make some adjustments here to the hue and the lightness and saturation, but we're not going to do that. We're going to just use it as is, it's in pretty good shape. So we click this and we can play our movie and see the results. There we go. So as you can see, it's a very nice tool. It takes you through the process here of correcting your, your lens distortion, correcting your color, and even selecting the best moments from a longer action cam clip. Kind of cool in guided edits, an area I don't often venture, but a very nice one here in version 2018. If you want to know more about the program and all the great tools in here, be sure to check out the tips and tutorials we have here at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything, check out the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements at amazon.com and of course right here at the Movie Pick Store. I'm Steve Grisetti. Thanks for joining me. See you again soon.